focused uh, community anymore, but just people who are interested in yeah. it and might not, might not have about it. All right. So we are still at the Sweden 3D printing meetup uh, here with Bontic today. And you guys have been making extruders that are maybe unlike anything else out there for a while. Um, can you explain to us what you're doing and, and why you're doing it? As, as like many others, we started using 3D printers uh, because I love technology, I love machines. I've been working with product development and production for many years with CNC technology, robots and these things. So I really like technology. I bought the first 3D printer and it worked not so good. So I tried to, tried to rebuild it to make it work better and better. But uh, I got to a certain point and it started to work quite okay. But I felt anyway I can do better. So I started to design my own machine, a Core XY, a Bowden machine, because I wanted to print fast. And uh, then I had a lot of problems with grinding and under extrusion. So that made me start to look on forums all around the globe, uh, Google+, Plus, Google Groups, and uh, these things, and try to search for, is there a solution that works really better? Uh, I didn't find anything really, but I also understand that a lot of people are having these type of problems. So therefore I decided to start to see if, can I come up with something new that will solve this problem? Uh, so therefore I started to work on a new idea, and the idea is to have dual drive gear, so I grip the filament from both sides. And you started out with, with extruders that were you know, very simple, down to earth, just two gears and um, not much else to it. And they, they, were, they were really spectacular as in their grip, but they were maybe a bit awkward to use still. So you, you've, you've now changed a few things. So you've, you've got your new uh, BMG yeah. uh, extruder. And what's changed over the years? How have you improved and, and changed your extruders? So what we have done, we have uh, sent out the products, uh, asked for people's uh, feedback. And uh, taking this feedback, we have started to develop the new versions. So this, our latest extruder, the BMG, is now uh, an answer to people that want a lightweight extruder for direct drive applications, and they want a secure grip, they don't want grinding and fail. So it's, it's the answer to this one. You've got the tiny 3 to 1 gearing in here, you have the, the quick release lever, but you still have the, the dual gears on here. Yes, yeah. the same dual gears. Uh, actually, we have two sizes of the dual gears. For our QR model, we have the one with a that fits to an 8 millimeter shaft that is very common for planetary gearboxes. And for the new one here, we use it our mini gears that have a 5 millimeter inside hole that fit directly on an EMA 17 or as a 5 millimeter standard. Yeah. And obviously that can be used with a, with a much smaller motor just to make a, a really compact weight unit, yes. Um, what would be a difference to something like the E3 Titan, which obviously is a very similar product? You have the dual gears, right? Yeah. The main difference is the dual gears. That is what creates the unique value here. So you don't slip on the filament. If you are having problems because you can have particles clogging your nozzle or you have heat creep or something, then the motor stop. You don't grind the filament. These are all more or less, you know, still universal extruders. So you have the insert on the bottom where you can just directly clamp a hot end, but it can also you know, use everyone as a, as a Bowden setup. So it's, yes. a, it's a fairly universal yeah. thing. That is the thing to have a universal unit that fits many different applications. You've traditionally made all your extruder bodies with um, SLS 3D printing as like a, I guess, quick iteration setup. How has that been, been working out for you? Because it's fairly uncommon to see. Yeah, uh, actually we have a very good contact with prototype uh, companies here in Sweden uh, that are normally producing prototypes, but they are also interested to find production uh, parts and they are more leaning now to small scale production. And uh, it's a really fantastic technology because you have full uh, freedom of design. Uh, you can backdraft these things. And you don't, you don't also have to invest in a mold. That is a very high expensive mold for this one. And with the latest process now, they are, the finish of the part is really great. You have great precision and also the strength of the part is really great. So it's a very good way. Uh, also sending a new file, then we can iterate really fast, make, new, uh, yeah, make it better and better. Where are you seeing people use your extruders most on? Is it... Everyday machines is like high performance, high flow setups. Where, where, where do you see people using them, and where, where would you like them see uh, used more? Uh, we have uh, customers in all areas. I think uh, we have uh, the makers that build their own machines that want a really reliable extrusion. Uh, we have a lot of people that have bought machines that want to upgrade. They want to have more reliable machines. 
So we have sold many, many to Ultimakers. Uh, that's a, a huge customer for us. Uh, we have sold many to companies that use them in the in the uh, prototyping development teams, and so they want reliability is really a core factor for them. Over here, I'm seeing an Ultimaker three upgraded to to the Montex system. Uh, you have a MakerBot replicated two X upgrade, uh, Race 3D. So you, you're also seeing it as an upgrade for machines that are already working. It's not just something where, where somebody would be building a machine and, and using it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That is a big market for us, just upgrading, because they have invested so much time and they know the printer, they like it, but they want to solve the under-extrusion problem. The new BMG, that's available now. Yes. Um, how much can you buy it for and the where? Uh, it's $80, uh, the kit without the motor. Uh, so we have two different motors now available. The one 25 millimeter, that is 18 newton centimeter, and the one is uh, 22 millimeter, that is 12 newton centimeter. And obviously that is times three to the extrusion gear? Yeah, of course. So the E-step value of our new here is 415, so that is a very good ratio because that gives you high resolution, but at the same time you can use quite fast retracts. All right, looks good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more from Bontech soon. And yeah, thank you for your time. Thank you, Tom. Right. Official video handshake, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh...